Hello, welcome to another 15 minutes of Zentangle practice. So yesterday we drew in this Punzel pattern and I had started putting some Mucha embellishments into the pattern, so we'll continue there today. It's bright and early this morning. I've sort of gotten into the habit lately of tangling later in the day. So today I wanted to switch it up and do some tangling in the morning. So I've visited my local nature area. I'm the first and from what I can tell only one person here this early. It's kind of nice. Of course I have all of the, the birds and critters here with me. Very active this morning. It's nice to see. It's nice to also get out before it gets very hot. But it also means it had rained last night and there's all kinds of moisture. So my sandaled feet are slick with morning dew after walking through the fields to get to my bench. I'll leave it there. There was a bit of a fog or a haze due to all of the humidity this morning. It'll burn off as the day goes on. I woke up full of energy this morning. So nice. I think I'm getting quite excited about a paper that I'm writing. Not only seeing progress in the paper, but also um, just learning more about the process, my own writing process. Um, has been a great experience in graduate school. And finding that there are, you know, resources out there and communities out there that are passionate about writing, particularly academic writing, um, is my focus at, the, at this moment. <clears throat> but it's nice to know sometimes when I'm sitting alone in my apartment, um, I can start to feel quite isolated in my writing. But it's nice to know there's a writing community out there that's very supportive. So. so I think I'm really excited about that and I'm happy to get up today, be active, and get a lot of writing done. <laughs> I'm really excited about how this project is turning out. I'm interested to see how this border will continue to develop and what decisions I make as I go to complete it. I know I want to put in um, some more of this Punzel pattern. I want to put in another aquafleur. <clears throat> so I may be spending some time outside of these 15 minutes, getting those in, so that way you don't have to see me drawing the same pattern 
over and over because I think I'm going to be doing this punzel pattern four times. <clears throat> And the aquaphor just once more. All right, you know, I think I'm going to leave just that one side embellished like that. And on the other side, we'll do some fancy shading. So now I've been wondering about what I want to do with the interstices. We have some quite large interstices here. So like this space right here. Now, I think typically I would color my interstices black. Um, and we could certainly do that. It would be a big statement to have sort of large spaces like that colored and um, inked in with black. Um, so I don't know, is that what I wanna do? I think I'm gonna go for it. I think I'm gonna start coloring some of these interstices and see how it, see how it looks. At least maybe do these most internal ones. It's kind of hard for me to see. It's so early and it's so damp outside that my glasses are fogging up a little bit. Well, if I miss any spots, I'll get to it when my glasses aren't so foggy. <laughs> Let me at least do these sort of more internal interstices first. And perhaps we'll make a decision from there. So early in the morning, it's nice and still outside. I hear, of course, the birds singing early in the morning. I hear, because of the rain last night, everything's covered in water droplets. And so I hear little raindrops falling down from the trees nearby. Every once in a while, <clears throat> I hear a car coming down the road that runs right near the nature area. But generally speaking, it's nice and still. I do quite like what these internal interstices look like when they're inked in. It's nice to give a thought to any tension in the body and just letting it go. Think about how tight you're holding. I'm holding the pen and how hard I'm pressing on the paper. But then also think about sort of the more supportive roles in your body. Sometimes your body puts tension in the in most interesting places in order, in, in the thought that it's sort of supporting you. So like think about your jaw or maybe your stomach. Maybe your shoulders, maybe this hand that's holding down the paper for you. And just see, you know, is there any tension that you can invite to release? See, I quite like how it looks with the interstices colored in. So I'm thinking 
I'll probably go in and color in these sort of outer interstices at another time. I would like to go ahead and start doing some highlighting and some shading. And I'm going to start with my white charcoal pencil and highlight these auras that we put in earlier. Oh, I hear all the little crickets. I hadn't noticed those before. There's just water droplets falling all over. I hope none of them hit my artwork. <laughs> we shall see what happens. So I'm not sure when, but probably sometime over the next few days, I'll take some extra time to both color in these interstices and to draw this pattern elsewhere along the border. I'm not sure if that means I'll skip a few days of videoing, but if I do, that's what's going on. Oh, we can put a little bit of a mooka in there, huh? That one right there. All right, let's do that. Get a little mooka right in there. Okay. So tomorrow we'll go in and add some 
shading with the graphite um, and we'll see where we decide to go from there. That's our 15 minutes of tangling for today. Thank you so much for joining me along this process. Um, I hope you have a spectacular rest of your day and that I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you.